What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to semi-jailbreak iOS 16.0 through iOS 16.6.1 with serotonin. Before we start this video, if you wanna do this, before proceeding, there's some things you need to know. This is a semi-jailbreak and it's not a full jailbreak. Yes, you can actually run jailbreak tweaks. However, this is different than a regular jailbreak and it's less stable and requires a bit more work. Right now, the serotonin semi-jailbreak requires the root hide bootstrap, which is unstable and may cause issues. The way bootstrap handles things is different and you have to patch tweaks to work. It doesn't work automatically. Patching tweaks manually one by one is a little bit more complicated than something like dopamine. However, if you wanna give it a shot, you have to be careful and it's recommended to use this on a secondary device and not a daily driver. So of course, here's some requirements for serotonin. You must have an A12 through A16 device, and you must also be on iOS 16.0 through iOS 16.6.1. You can see here that I'm on 16.5. 17.0 is not supported yet, but hopefully a kernel exploit will come out eventually. You also must have Trollstore installed, and I have a separate tutorial on how to install Trollstore on 16.5 up in the cards, as well as linked down below in the description. For now, Serotonin relies on the root hide bootstrap to get working, but it will support regular rootless environments eventually. Anyway, with that being said, let's get started. Go and download the root hide bootstrap.tipa file linked down below in the description and open it up in Trollstore. Tap on install inside of Trollstore, and then once it's installed, go ahead and open up the bootstrap app. And before we do this one last time, please do not do this unless you know what you're doing. Anyway, with that being said, just tap on install inside of the bootstrap application. You can set your SSH password to just be the default, which is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. You also can make the password whatever you want, but for this video, I'm just gonna make it Alpine. It's gonna continue bootstrapping and doing its thing, and now it will respring, and we can slide up to unlock it, and here is the Cilio and Zebra application. And from there, we just wanna open up Cilio and search for the package LKit and install it. The next step in the process is to download Serotonin. Go to Serotonin's GitHub page and find the serotonin.tipa file. From there, same deal, open up the serotonin.tipa file inside of Trollstore and tap on install inside of Trollstore to install it. Let's go ahead and tap on open to open the application up and there it is. Now, go ahead and tap on the jailbreak button inside of the Serotonin app. It's gonna go through and work its magic, and once it's done and it's finished all the way, tap on the user space reboot button that appears inside of the Serotonin app. When your device comes back up, you might see this weird message. Seeing this message is normal, and it means you're in jailbreak mode with this tool. Swipe to unlock, and now you have the ability to install any tweak you want. However, I wish it was really that easy. In this first version of Serotonin, tweaks need to be patched to work properly. To install the patcher, tap Get Patcher in Cilio, or just search for Root Hide Patcher as well, and you can just go through and install it. As I said, this is a bit more of a complicated process, so less experienced users should wait until a full jailbreak releases. Now that we have the patcher installed, search for the tweak that you want in Cilio and try to install it and then tap the convert option. It'll download the deb file and now we can go ahead and export that out and open it inside of the patcher application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now in order to convert the tweak, just tap on convert.deb and it'll go ahead and convert it. And then from here it says done and shows us a big wall of text. And as soon as we go ahead and press OK, we can view the converted.deb file. Now just open the patch tweak in Cilio. And from here, we just wanna tap get and install the patch version of the tweak. And there we go. You can see Atria is now installed. So yes, while at the end of the day, it is definitely annoying to jump through all these extra hoops to convert the tweaks, it is magical that tweaks actually work without a jailbreak. It's pretty wild. If you're familiar with how jailbreaks normally are, you can access a tweak settings directly inside of the settings app. However, by default, you won't be able to see any of the tweaks you installed inside of settings. So here's how to get them to show up. Open the bootstrap app and go to app enabler. From there, just search for the settings app and enable it. Go ahead and just tap to respring. And then from there, now when you go into settings, you should see the tweak preferences for everything you have installed. 
if for whatever reason you rebooted your phone, none of your tweaks or cilia will work right away. It'll just keep crashing out. You'll have to open the Bootstrap app and tap on Restart Server to kick everything back in gear and to get back into jailbreak mode. Now you can see Cilia works without any crashes. If this isn't for you and you wanna uninstall it and get rid of it, here's how to do it. Open the Bootstrap app again and go back to App Enabler and make sure the Settings app and any other apps that you may have enabled through App Enabler are disabled. Next, go ahead and tap to respring again. Once you're back up, go ahead and manually reboot your device. Now go into the Bootstrap app again and tap the uninstall button that appears. It's gonna ask, are you sure you want to uninstall Bootstrap? Please make sure you have disabled tweaks for all apps before uninstalling, which we've done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tap uninstall. And when the device reboots again, swiping up to unlock, we can slide over and you can see Cilio and Zeba are gone and the bootstrap is uninstalled. This also should uninstall the serotonin jailbreak environment as well. Anyway guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you'd never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace.